Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. Well, we have a bunch of slab wood that we need to cut up into firewood. And I tried to put that on the Hacky Pilk A Raven 33 processor yesterday, and it was more trouble than it was worth. So we've got a new approach today that we wanna try. Stick around. Okay guys, so what I did yesterday was I used the uh, Kubota B2601 tractor with the Cranman hydraulic timber trailer and I loaded it up with slab wood. And you can see I got a nice, uh, a nice bunch of slab wood with every clam and uh, took it down and put it on the uh, gravity feed table and then I had a mess. Um, basically, this is like a bunch of boards and uh, you know, it's not uniform and, and piled up nice. So I ended up pulling these out one at a time, feeding them on to the infeed of the processor putting them through and basically I, I should have had a cutoff saw. I was cutting boards. Uh, it was very time consuming. I didn't see a reason to run a 23 horsepower motor to cut up boards like that. So uh, I quickly shut the machine down and uh, thought about it overnight and I've come up with a plan B. Okay guys, so uh, plan B involved about 30 minutes of setup and a heck of a lot of equipment, but I think it's gonna work quite well and we'll see how we do. I'm gonna cut the slab wood up with my chainsaw, but I plan on grabbing a grapple load of it with the uh, Cranman T1750 hydraulic timber trailer. I'm gonna swing it around onto my firewood dump trailer and then I'm gonna get up in there with my chainsaw and I'm gonna cut it up into 16 inch pieces and then I'm gonna repeat. And uh, I think that uh, even though I've got a lot of gear set up here to, to handle this, I think it's gonna be much more efficient than trying to put it through the firewood processor. So let's see how we do with that.
Okay guys, so this seems like it's going pretty well to me, but I'm interested to know what you guys think. You have a lot of good ideas, and I'd like you to leave some comments and tell me what you do differently. I know that the wood's not all the same length. I've got a lot of small pieces and some that are longer than uh, 16 inches, but that's okay because this is destined for the maple syrup evaporator, and we have a really long firebox on that evaporator, so I have no issue with this. It'll look a little messy in the pile, but uh, it's all going to serve its purpose and provide heat to boil down that sap. Anyway, it's going quite quick, and I think I'm going to keep working away here and try and get a nice load. Now, my idea was I don't want to touch this wood any more often than I have to with my hands. And for any of the long-term viewers, you know I hate to pile firewood and handle it. So uh, this way, I haven't touched the wood yet, and I plan on backing this trailer right into the... Uh, sugar shack and then just handling it once to get it to the pile. All right, let's keep going. Okay guys, so there you have it. This only took us about 30 minutes. Um, I think that I probably have a third of a cord on here, maybe a little bit more. Um, basically this was proof of concept. Now that we know that this is gonna work, if I had uh, my dad Charlie over here to operate the crane for me, uh, and I could just stay up here as the wood come in and uh, cut it up into 16 inch lengths, we would be no time at all going through uh, all of this slab wood and getting it ready for maple syrup season. Anyway, I hope you like this video guys, and if you want to see more of them, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share our videos with your friends and family and help us grow our channel. And come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain Acots are going to be up to next. We'll see you in the next one guys.